Welcome back everyone, same road. I don't know if I should just label these part one, two, three, and four, whatever. However many I get to today, but anyway, welcome back. Thought I'd share with everyone a fun story of my time in the Air Force. Supervising the stinky kid. Now everyone always jokes about that. In uh, the Airman Leadership School, they even have a scenario where you have to counsel a young airman who does not meet, oh, that's far down, who does not meet, let's say, their hygiene requirements. And you know, there's nothing that I can remember. It's, you know, there's no, well, you know, must shower once a day. There's nothing written in there like that, but, you know, if you can smell a person from across the room, then they, they probably need a shower. Well, I actually had that kid. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to call him Stinky. I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but he was. Like, he would not change his uniform for a week or so he constantly just smelled horrible you could see the the white sweat lines around his armpits and various other areas and you know if you get them in the other areas you know you've been wearing that stuff too long but there he was oh and so we were in a deployed environment it'll be nice to the cyclist We were in a deployed environment, and I luckily did not have to share a sleeping space with him, but one of my other airmen did. And it actually got so bad that our chief master sergeant complained that when they walked by the room in the little trailer-like environment that we lived in, he could smell him. So, you know, we tried to talk to him. Hey, man. Take a shower. No, I don't. I don't really need a shower. I uh, I didn't sweat much. And uh, yeah, that's a lie. He definitely needed a shower. So one day, I got fed up with it, and I went down to the to the fire department. And I asked them if there was anything they needed in the way of communications. More internet lines, put them on the, give them a couple extra phone lines with no timers on them so they could make phone calls home to the family more often for a little longer. You know, I mean, obviously you can't abuse it, but we make deals. So, you know, I installed a couple lines of each type for them. And in return, they, they agreed to this. I gave him, uh, gave him a bottle of Dawn I bought at the Field BX. I told him I was sending a guy over to fix a problem. And when he comes in, I want you to dump this and just give him a bath. So they're like, okay, we, we know how to do that. So what they did, and I made sure to be there because it was glorious. Made the call, he runs the corner, they wait for him to clear the little zigzaggy berm area for the entryway, and they just turn on the fire hose. Hey, I'm not saying full blast knocking cinder blocks down, but it's a fire hose, you know, you've seen them. And they squeeze that bottle of Dawn directly into the stream of it, <laughs> and this dude just got, just pummeled. It was great. And after that, I didn't really have a problem anymore. I didn't have to tell him to go take a shower. I just remind him what happened last time he didn't. What can I say? Maybe I'm a bad supervisor. Maybe I'm just a really good one. I don't know. It's up to you. Either way, I thought it was a funny story and I wanted to share.